In this video, we'll be seeing how to implement bottom navigation in Android. So you can see that we are using view pager to implement the bottom navigation. You can swipe left and right and the fragment will change. So that's because we are using the view pager. So you can also click on the bottom navigation view and the fragment will change. So this is what we are going to do in this video. And this is the demo. So let's get to the implementation part. You can see that I have started a new empty project. So go to resources, layout, activity main dot XML part, go to the split mode. And here we have to change the pattern layout to linear layout. And set the orientation to vertical. Then we can change the text view and we can add a frame layout. And set the height to zero DP. Close the tag, hold tender. And we also have to specify layout weight. Keep it to one. Okay. Then we also have to give an ID for the frame layout. Now we can give the bottom navigation view. Choose the bottom navigation view. Okay. Match parent and warp content. Okay, I hope it is visible for you. Close the tag. Alt enter. Okay, now we have to give an ID for the bottom navigation view. ID bottom nav. Okay, now that's all. Now we have to create menu for the bottom navigation view. So go to the resources and right click new and you can see Android resource file. So click that and choose the resource type to menu now you can name it like bottom nav okay and you can click ok okay the menu folder has been added you can see that here so we are having a new folder that is menu and inside that we are having bottom underscore nav dot xml so go to the bottom nav xml part and go to the split mode and here we have to add three items you can add as many as you want. So we'll be adding three items. So give the ID for the item. So let's give it an ID like home. Okay. Give it an title. You can also give the icon for the item. So icon and we have to specify the icon. So you can close the item here and type old tender and collapse empty tag now we have to choose an icon for the item so you can go to the drawable and you can right click go to the new and you can see vector assets and we are going to choose a icon from here so we need a home icon home and we can choose it yes click ok and if you want to change the name you can change it click next and finish so you can see we are having a new icon in the drawable folder. So you can call that file here. So at drawable, uh, you simply have to start typing the file name and it will show the suggestion. So I see home. You can see that. Choose that. Okay. Now we are having one item. So you can copy this and add two more. So we'll be adding three items only. You can have to change the ID of the item. So the second item we can go like support and maybe the third one like downloads okay so you can also change the text okay we can also set the icon for them so go to drawables and right click new vector assets choose the clip art and here you can search for downloads the second one was support okay so search for supports okay we can choose this one okay and if you want to change the name you can change it click next and click finish okay we can change the icon here for the support so support okay and add another icon so search for downloads and you can see this one okay we are choosing this one click ok 
okay so let's change the name also next and finish so let's change the icon here also okay so our menu is ready now we can go to the activity main xml part and come to the border navigation okay here we can specify the menu so type menu and we can give the at menu slash then the file name that is the bottom underscore nav now we can see the menu on the palette so you can see that so we are having the menu visible so that's it the view part is almost complete now we can go to the main activity java part so here we need three fragments so first of all we can do that so go to the app and right click go to new and scroll down and you can see the fragment option choose the blank fragment and you can name something so let's name it like home okay you can click finish so we are having one fragment home we need two more fragments so let's add them okay so we have added three fragments now so we can go to the home and we can remove unwanted comments so remove the comments on the top and we can remove this much so we only need the method that is on create view so you can remove everything else okay remove the comment and we only need this much okay so keep this much and remove everything else so we'll be doing that for the support and the download as well okay so now we can see that have removed the unwanted comments and the methods so we can go to the activity main so we need an adapter to handle the view pager so we have to create that so come to the java part and this folder that is our package name and right click new java class okay so we can name the class like view page adapter view pager adapter and okay click enter now we have to extend a class that is fragment state adapter so you can see an error here so click here and you can see it is asking you to implement some methods so you can either click here or click here and type alt enter so you can see implement methods so click that and you can see that we have to implement two methods that is create fragment and get item count so select that and click OK. OK. Now you can see one more error. So click there and type Alt Enter. You can see create constructor matching super. So select that. And here to select the first one. OK and click OK. OK. Now the error has gone. Now we can go to the create fragment and remove this return null. You can start a switch statement. Switch position and case zero here we can return the fragment for the home page so return new and the fragment name is home okay then for the next one that is the case one we can return new support this is the fragment for the support case two return new downloads okay so we are returning the fragments here and for default we can return the home page itself okay that's done so do this in the switch statement okay and you can come to the get item count and return three we are having three fragments so that's why we are giving the count three okay now the adapter part is done so this is completed now we can go to the activity main java part this while here we have to create objects for the view pager view pager to view pager and for the adapter so view pager adapter class we just created create an object and also for the bottom navigation view so bottom navigation view create the object now we have to initialize them so go inside the own create method and 
called bottom navigation view equal to find view by id r dot id dot then give the id of the bottom navigation view so let's it was bottom nav i guess so id is bottom nav if you are having any doubt with the id you can simply click on this by clicking the control control and use the mouse to click and you will be taken to the id so the id is correct right now okay so go back to the java and we have to initialize the next object so we can initialize the view pager find view by id and you have to give the id of the item that is the view pager so you can check the id so go to the activity main xml part and you can see that we are using frame layout and we need the view pager so i just forgot that so i got confused with another video so that's what happened so we have to change it to view pager view pager 2 and we can also change the id since it is having the id frame layout change it to view pager so i just got mixed with the another video that's what happened here okay so change the frame layout to view pager that's all after changing the frame layout to view pager you can go back to the activity main java part and here we can give the id that we just created so it is r dot id dot and the id is view pager okay so you can see an error here so you can simply ignore that that will go away when we run the application so the next one we have to initialize the adapter so view page adapter equal to new view page adapter and we have to pass the activity so call this okay that's all then we have to set the adapter to the view pager so call view pager to dot set adapter and then we can pass the object of the adapter the adapter object is view pager adapter okay okay the adapter is set now we have to call a listener that is set on item selected listener that is for the bottom navigation view so bottom navigation view dot set on item selected listener new on item selected listener okay so this is it i hope you can view the code properly and here we can come here and create int id equal to item dot get id get item id then we can start a switch statement switch we can switch the id so switch id case we have to specify the id of the menu so that is r dot id dot bottom home so hope you remember the id of the menu that we just created so you can go to the menu and select bottom nav and you can see the id here bottom underscore home so this is the id that we are going to use okay so you have to check all these ids okay you have to match these ids okay and here we can call view pager 2 dot set current item and then we can pass the position so we'll be manually passing the position position is zero okay after that we can call break and then we can start the next case case r dot id dot bottom and the next one is support okay and here also we can call the view pager dot set current item the position that is one call break okay and the next case that is case r dot id dot the next one is id for the menu download okay so view pager two dot set current item and the position that is two call break okay so that's done so we can return false at the end okay you can see this yellow here so this is a warning so you can simply click here or you can simply hover over here and you can see a suggestion here you can simply click this option and it will go away otherwise you can click here and type all tender and you can select the first option so that will add this line on the top that's all okay okay now we can do one more thing that is for the view pager so scroll down and here we have to type view pager view pager 2 dot register on page change callback so select that and then we can call new on page change callback that's all and here we have to select the method that is the second one on page selected 
So select that one, the second one and click OK. OK, so now we can go to the on page selected function and here we can create a switch for the position. So switch position and case zero. And when the case is zero, we can call bottom navigation view dot get menu dot find item. Then we can pass the ID of the menu that is R dot ID dot bottom home. Okay. And then we can call dot set checked true. That's all. So this will set the bottom navigation views menu to be clicked. That's it. Then we can call break. Then do the same for case one and two. Okay, now we have completed the switch. Now we can go to the fragments. So go to the layout part and go to the fragment home and here we can change the text view so that we can identify the fragments properly change the text to fragment home we can also set the text size text size like 30 sp okay so you can copy this text view from here and we can also remove this comment from here okay and you can go to the next one that is the fragment support go to the split mode and you can paste the text view here and we can change the home to support okay and go to the fragment downloads split mode and change the text view change the text to fragment downloads okay so we have changed the text on all the fragments now we can try running the application so go to the activity main java and let's click run so you can see the app has launched now we can try clicking on the support and you can see the fragment changed fragment support let's click on downloads and let's click on home you can also swipe left and right so the fragment will change when you swipe so that's because we are using the view pager okay so hope you understand so that's all with the implementation part if you have any doubt you can leave a comment below and i'll respond to them if you want to download the complete source code of this video, you can come to this URL and I will give the link on the description so you can download the complete source code from there. So hope all of you understand the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.